Hi everybody, I'm Robin and these are my reflections and today I am here to do a video response to Intuitive Whispers and the tag is Cozy Gems. She tagged me, so I'm here and I'm excited. I love a good cozy deck. Cozy decks are my jam. It's gonna be quick because it was easy to pull the decks and we're just gonna jump in. We're just gonna fly by the seat of our pants here. Um, I did do one other video similar to this. Uh, it was called healing feeling decks hashtag healing feeling decks so if you want to see more videos because i'm only going to show six here if you want to see more videos and more decks i'll link that right here for you you can check that one out all right so let's get started let's start with the take what you need this is definitely a cozy um feel good kind of cutesy make you smile deck right it leaves you feeling warm and fuzzy on the inside when you're using it um i feel like for me because these are going to be personal things, right? Cozy is very personal. But um, I feel like for me, when I use this deck, um, even if I'm feeling down, this is a good pick-me-up. It's a good pick-me-up and it's comfy. I think it's the artwork. It's this cartoony, bright artwork just reminds me of, I don't know, cartoons. And it really reminds me of comics. It gives me a feel for like Garfield comics and um the comics i used to read when i was a kid that used to come in the newspaper i don't know i might be dating myself but <laughs> that's kind of what it feels like and so it, it brings me it, it's nostalgic for me and it makes me feel good um it also reminds me a little bit of lisa frank um artwork and and stationery that i used to collect when i was a kid and, and i actually used to use it we used to do i used to have pen pals oh real pen pals it gives me those types of feelings so it definitely feels cozy for me and it has nice messages like make time for meaningful contemplation and this one says seek comfort in those who are close to your heart you are not required to be happy all the time embrace a sense of belonging you are loved embrace the pause between where you are and where you oh where you were and where you are i like that between where you were and where you are the pause become your own muse be your own inspiration oops upside down this one says, don't wait for luck to find you. Go out and make your own. Setting clear boundaries is an act of self-love. Look, there's a gate. I promise you I looked through like seven decks the other day. I'm doing a, um, I'm doing a thing on Instagram, <laughs> a challenge, and it's like a scavenger hunt. And I could not find a gate for anything. I looked in all decks that I thought would have a gate. I looked in like the secret garden deck. I was like, yeah, for sure there'll be a gate in here. It's a garden. Nope, no gate. And now, of course, there's a gate right there. I did find one. I can't remember what it was in. All right, so that is the Take What You Need Oracle. Okay, let's do a tarot next. This is the Mystical Penguin Tarot. I think you can buy this one on. I bought this off Etsy. I think it's still, I'm sure it's still available. I don't see what, well, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't check. I'm sorry. So you, <laughs> you'll have to check. Um, <laughs> but it's called the Mystical Penguin Tarot. I have the one with the rose gold edges. It also comes, I think, with possibly blue edges I think are, is the other option um, like blue painted edges this is super cozy for me um, it's like this almost feels like um, like someone took a pastel and colored on watercolor paper so you know how watercolor paper has that sort of uh, texture to it or uh, any any of that sort of paper it just has that kind of texture to it and if someone takes like a pastel pencil or even just a crayon or a marker and goes over that texture you kind of get these sort of textures in the card and it just feels cozy it feels like coloring when i was a kid um it brings it's again that nostalgic youthful feel that's cozy to me when i was cozy and comfy all the time because i didn't have to worry for anything <laughs> I didn't have to, to work for anything. I didn't have to do anything. You know, I was just living, just living my best life. So this is, um, yeah, this is the Mystical Penguin Tarot. Also, I freaking love penguins and they just make me happy. So cozy, I guess, equates to happy and nostalgic for me. Maybe that's where my cozy place is. I don't know. I, I feel like I have a thousand cozy decks around here so i had to stop myself at six but because <laughs> we'll be here all day if i start just combing through everything and talking about why everything makes me feel good but this is cozy to me i guess means i feel it makes me feel good it makes me feel um light-hearted joyful youthful and uh i don't know i don't know maybe like coloring <laughs> 
home. I don't know. Maybe coloring reminds me of homes and, and comfy places. I don't know. So this is the Mystical Penguin Tarot. Another oracle. This is the Nature Quest Oracle by Teresa Hutch. Oh my goodness, y'all. If you are not aware, she has a new tarot deck coming out. If you like the uh, white sage tarot, but you weren't able to get it in a full size and you want a bigger size, I think this new deck called the Black Seed Tarot is going to be something similar. It's got her artwork, her art style, but it's in a full size tarot size. And I think it's it has the chakra associations. It, it's not the same deck, but I think it's going to scratch the itch for anybody who's been looking for that full size white sage that and, not, and hasn't been able to get it. So yay for that coming out i also have um i'm very excited about it because black seed oil and black seed cumin reminds me of my father so i'm excited to get that one but this one is a wonderful deck this is Taoist wisdom and um on these cards and in the guidebook and it is cozy for me something about the way these messages are always presented when you when you're reading a book on Taoist wisdom, or if you, you know, the cards, um, the messages in general, they really just give me a, a sort of comfort um, about life that makes that that feels cozy to me. Also, her artwork, this watercolor, this soft watercolor, quiet feel. Even in this card, where there's obviously wind blowing. Um, it still feels quiet. It feels almost like this wind is silently blowing. You know what I mean? Like, and so quiet is cozy to me. It is. So this one definitely is cozy. The messages in the guidebook are amazing. Um, it says, consider your personal life lessons. What would be a message about life that you would send to your younger self? Ram Das tells us, unconditional love dissolves any rational hesitation as we become drunk on its sweetness. We are like moths circling a candle flame, immolating ourselves in a fire of living love. In the Tao number 19, it tells you here, uh, when we forget about knowledge and rules, throw away charity and righteousness, we return to a natural state of peace. In the reflections, simplicity is key. How can you brighten someone's day without spending a penny? And what happens when you connect with the silence in the center of your chest? That right there just feels, oh, the silence in the center of your chest. And then there's an affirmation. When I keep things simple, actions become clear. I love this as a meditation deck. I know I have many meditation decks, but this is one that I reach for quite often to pull a card before meditation um, or even sometimes after meditation, depending on the type of meditation I'm doing that day. If I want to do a meditation that's sort of focused on a certain thing, I'll pull it before. If I want to just clear my mind, then I'll pull it after, after I've cleared my mind. Like if I'm feeling erratic, you know, I may just do, I may just meditate just to quiet myself. And then once I'm feeling quiet, I can then get in here and see what message is for me. But I love this one. Um, I use it quite often. I have, like I said, I have meditation decks. I have ones that are specifically for, I don't hardly use them. I like this one, you know? <laughs> so <laughs> I use them sometimes, but this is one I'm always pulling out. Like the coloring, you would think I would keep it with my summer and spring things, but I, I keep this um, out because I'm always using it. I'm always pulling for it. I'll use it for a week, put it away for a couple of weeks, use it for another week. So yeah, this is definitely a cozy place to land for me. Another tarot. This is the teddy bears. We love the teddy bears. They're so sweet. I don't have the box. I have the box somewhere. Um, it fell apart on me. It literally came unglued and it went flat. It was flat. And I think I put it somewhere. I don't know where the hell I put it, to be honest. It might be with like where I keep like postcards and stuff that I get from indie creators. <laughs> It might be in there, but I don't know. But anyways, this is very soothing and comforting and cozy. And again, I mean, there's a theme, right? We have this sort of um, watercolor look, this storybook illustration look, even the title bars. It feels nostalgic. It reminds me of like Paddington and them, um, the, the Bernstein bears, all the bears from my childhood. <laughs> Um, it feels 
um, youthful and it feels comfortable, cozy. So that equals cozy for me. I love it. I love this deck a lot. And this is one of those decks that, you know, if I'm feeling kind of sad or um, I don't need an uplifting thing, an uplifting deck, I feel like this deck can do double duty there. It can read on sadness and stay with you there, but also kind of raise your vibration a little bit because even though it's speaking about sadness, it doesn't speak in a sad way, if that makes sense. So I love this one and it definitely feels very cozy and comforting to me. Again, this is, I want to say this is called the Teddy Bears Tarot. I don't have a box, like I said, but I think it's called the Teddy Bears Tarot. Last but not least, I have, ooh, look at that. I have the um, Ancestors Oracle from Street Priestess Tarot. Normally her, her decks come in bags like this, like, one of these like make playing cards plasticky bags which i mean you know we appreciate these bags because they it's something to keep the cards in and also they are um pretty much waterproof and all that kind of stuff so if you're in a bar or something you can definitely protect your cards with that this one is less waterproof but so soft and nice and it says like she she's in, um bright like uh, stamped her name and the stars and it's sparkly and i love this one okay so that's <laughs> It's big though. So I'm able to put both of my Oracle decks from her in there, which is nice. But if it was just this, you know, you would probably want to put some a rubber band around your cards so that um so that it doesn't they don't slide around in there. But this deck feels very cozy to me. And look, cards like this are why. Look at the food. Like <laughs> anything with food is going to be cozy to me because to me Spreads like this remind me of cookouts or just plain old Friday night gatherings at my uncle's house, to be honest. They don't, it don't even have to be a cookout. I mean, we don't need a reason to get together. We don't. <laughs> we don't. We don't. We just get it. We just get together. So this is, um, this is, this feels cozy. Her making this bread, the smell of bread is, is something that's cozy to me, you know? Um, these people feel cozy to me. I mean, this is a funeral, which, I mean, it's sad, but something about a gathering of Black people together like this feels comfortable to me. Um, her and her church hat feels comfortable to me because that is a place that's comfortable and, and cozy for me, church, you know? This definitely feels cozy, you know, grandmother and her children. Even this, you know, like, you know, somebody in the garage hanging out, you know, I could hear my cousins like, hey, da, 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 and he's like, hang on, let me finish this. And then, you know, I could hear it. This is not so cozy, but this, this guy here, I love him so much. I love him so much. I can hear him making a joke, laughing, being silly. I can hear the people laughing at him. You know, I just love this card. So much and i love him so much. brings back so many good memories and it this is a definitely one of those cozy cards in here the, the deck in general this deck in general is cozy for me so i like this one a lot i'm so glad that i was able to pick it up um and it definitely feels cozy it feels cozy look at this little boy in his bedroom dreaming about being an astronaut you know like i love him i have a few decks from her now um the uh, you know if you want to see check my tarot and oracle playlists for for those and that's the ancestors oracle deck by street priestess tarot and that's my last cozy deck for today so now i'm going to leave it with you what are your cozy decks and what is it about them that makes them feel cozy to you i'd love to hear it in the comments below um or if you wanted to do a vr to um intuitive whispers uh, tag i'll definitely link her video in the comments below thank you to uh for tagging me i appreciate you for creating this tag and tagging me this was a lot of fun to do and to think about so um i'll leave you guys with that if you like this video give it a thumbs up i don't know how i like this setup i want to do a thumbnail um <laughs> If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, you can subscribe. I release videos every few days regarding tarot and oracle. And until I see you guys next time, stay safe.
and be blessed. There we go. There we go. All right. Yeah, we'll do it. Coloring is darker on this one. And so it's like it was throwing me off, but I got it. I got it. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>